Hey, Chris Cantelmo here with another vibration. I'm in my kitchen here. I'm going to do a quick prep from Mimosa Hostilis. You can see my Grateful Dead posters. I'm a big fan of the Grateful Dead. And this poster is an interesting one. This is, a, I've got what, number 333 out of 500 of this particular print. Uh, you notice that Grateful is spelled incorrectly. This is a, a, a uh, poster that was done in the, what, 1970 or something. They had been around long enough where people should have known how to spell Grateful, Grateful Dead. But anyway, so what I've got here, this is 100 grams of powdered mimosa hostilis, apparently from Hawaii. I can't verify that for sure, but supposedly from Hawaii. And that's a crock pot there. And this is a measuring cup. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I, how I like to purify DMT from this stuff. And I want to, what I want to get across to you is how simple the process is. People get real nervous about doing it. It's so easy. You don't need one of those to do it. <clears throat> so don't worry about that part. The main thing that freaks people out when they start doing this is they think that chemistry is difficult or that you, in this particular purification, that things need to be precise. They don't. So let's get at it. This is what you do. You take your bark, put it in your crock pot. Now what I like to do is add enough water. So there, you can, can, you, can, I, can we get in there? Can you see what's happening here? That's what that looks like right there. I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna, that's 100 grams. So I'm gonna start with, uh, I, I think I'm gonna need about, I'm gonna put about, let's see, if we had one cup, that's about one cup. What you wanna do is you wanna get all the bark wet without adding so much water that you that things get diluted. See, I'm gonna add a little more. So right now that's about two cups. And you want to, I'm, I'm creating a little bit uh, of, you can see the powder, the dust coming up. You don't really want to inhale this dust. It's not particularly good for you, just like any other dust. Anyway, so you do that. You can see you get it just like you were making tomato sauce or something. Stir it around a little bit. Just want to get all the bark nice and wet. And now I'm gonna go grab my I'm gonna go grab my vinegar. Be right back. Sorry about that. Should have had this ready to go. So now I just take my uh, distilled white vinegar and uh, I'm going to pour, I don't know, maybe maybe half a cup, just a little. You just want to just want to acidify things. I'm going to add another, I think we're going to need about another. So a total of a cup, add a half a cup of uh, vinegar, bring it up to another cup. So now I've added a total of three cups to 100 grams. And we're gonna mix it all up. Stir it up, oh, stir it up just like you're stirring up your pasta sauce or some kind of chili, like a thin chili or something. I don't know, you get the, you get the idea. You can smell the vinegar coming up. 
mix it up. Okay. Get your cover of your crock pot. Mine's a little dusty from the last time I did this. And we're going to, uh, we're going to turn it on. And why is it coming on? Oh, because I plugged in. There we go. And now I'm going to put on low heat for, uh, I put it for three hours. We're going to let that go. And what, what's going to happen there, what's going to happen here, is the, uh, right now, the DMT is, is in, it's probably a, a salt in the, uh, in the cells. It's, it's uh, existing probably uh, uh, in an ionic form. And, the, and, and this, in this process, the, the vinegar is going to help break down the cell walls and because and, you want to release the DMT. You got to get the DMT out of the cells, break down the cell walls, break down the cell membranes, release it into the solution. The acid helps that. The acid also helps to, to increase the ionic strength of the, the solution so that later when we do an extraction, the... Uh, you want as, as, as few fats as possible to dissolve, to, to be associated with the water. The higher the ionic strength, the, f the less problem you have with fats. But really, the, the, um, the, the vinegar at this stage really just helps break down the cell walls, I think. And uh, so we're going to let that go now. And then uh, I'll make another video in three hours or when that's done. I'll probably, I'll, what I'll probably do is just let it uh, turn it off in three hours and let it sit overnight. It doesn't matter. You can do it. it just, the stuff isn't time sensitive or anything. It's real. These compounds are really stable. So, I know a lot of people get crazy in the in the beginning of a Gordo Tech, and they, they want to weigh everything out perfectly. You know, don't don't get silly. Don't get crazy. This is a very simple extraction. The only the the only critical part of this whole process, and you'll see it in the, in a subsequent video, is when you once you once once the the DMT is in solution as a salt. Right now, it, that's an acidic solution. You need to bring the solution to uh, uh, increase the pH. It has to be up to pH 12. It can be pH 13, it can be pH 14. All that has to be is above pH 12. It doesn't have to be precise at all. This is really just bucket chemistry. So, and you can tell when you, when you, when you get to the right pH because the, the solution goes from a, from a deep purple to a black. It goes gray and then black. And as long as it stays black when you stir it up, you know you're above pH 12. And, it, and, it, and, and I'll, I'll weigh out enough. Uh, we're going we're we're to see how much solution comes out of this. And based on the total volume we have, we're going to add enough sodium hydroxide to make sure by the book that it's pH 12 or above, but you'll see it's not, it's, it's, as long as it's greater than pH 12, or at least pH 12, it works, it's not that critical. So see, this stuff is easy, you can, anybody can do this, it's very simple. More to come, Chris Cantelmo here.